10. It's a very proud feeling to have a, a woman as a sitting commissioner of police. We feel very proud about it. It's our testimony of our faith and belief in the women of St. Lucia. I want to thank the Honourable Prime Minister for the confidence he has placed in me. I'm looking forward to the support of the men and women of the organisation whilst I lead the organisation. Nine. We are an island of extraordinary physical beauty. The landscape, the pitors, the rivers, the waterfalls, the beaches. It is an island of extraordinary beauty. What we offer as a destination is an experience that really recognizes the special moments of whether it is a wedding or whether it is a honeymoon. Eight. Putting youth first. They have an idea. The idea is workable. We've looked at it and we're going to help them, assist them. Youth economy is the future of a country's development and it's only right that we invest in our future. And I want to say thank you uh, to the Taiwanese government for making that contribution into our young people. And these are the investments that are going to be life-changing for people. Seven. I, Alison Albo Fajor, do solemnly affirm that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to St. Lucia, that I will uphold and defend the Constitution and the laws of St. Lucia, and I will conscientiously and impartially discharge my responsibilities to the people of St. Lucia. I do affirm. Six. We have decided to implement universal health care um, in a phased way, and we are working feverishly towards the the beginning of this implementation process. We have appointed a director of universal health care in the Ministry of Health. The health minister says an announcement will be made soon regarding the rollout of UHC. He says Dr. Ned's presentation was indeed an eye-opener. We developed a model of, of financing health care for the region that we think is unique. Um, we did this with work we did in Grenada and work we did in some of the other Caribbean islands. Five. This administration will run for office, promised to examine and reform the legal posture towards campus. We sought to make good on this promise. We are building an industry, and an industry must have economic benefits for you. Four. Some people may ask why CMOS. CMOS is also a very important diet, it very, is very nutritious, but more significantly, it is very, very, it, um, it creates a big impact on the rural population. We know currently we have more than 400 persons involved in the production of CMOS. We have about 65 persons who are directly involved in the export of CMOS. And our ministry, considering the importance and value of this subsector for them um, the, in the agricultural sector. We thought it was a very good activity today to really bring them together. Two. Going into the port was just simply beautiful. It was everything I had heard it to be. This amazing ship behind us is Celebrity Millennium. And we couldn't be more proud. This is a very special and emotional day for us today. Returning back after two and a half years to amazing St. Lucia. And from now on, you will see us every week. One. Well, I'm not sure about my daddy, about my guy. But then he had to find a judge guy in a free moon base and San Diego and a finish mommy. Come and see my kid here. You want me to take care of you to buy a little bit. And then he create a music and switch to my ex. And then he buy a little bit of 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 a